I'm Mark Williams with PickupTrucks.com and we're in the heat in Arizona where we have the chance to talk to the chief product specialist at Nissan Truck, Rich Miller. Rich, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mark. Nice to be here. So obviously our guys are interested in what you're going to do for the next generation. I know you can't get too specific, but where do you see Titan sitting in the segment right now? It's viciously competitive and everybody seems to be bringing their A game. What, what do you have in store for us? We're definitely the underdog right now. We are waiting to launch the next vehicle. We have a very capable truck that we have out there right now, but the segment has moved quite a bit over the years and it's gotten very competitive. Each of the competitors are looking to see how they can satisfy their customers. We're doing the same thing. So the next generation truck, as we do as we evolve with every vehicle, it's going to be a big jump from the one that's going out to the new one that's coming in. Is the strategy um, set out here? Uh, uh, other manufacturers like Ram Truck have thrown everything they can possibly think of out at people. New powertrains, new chassis, uh, coil spring suspensions, a Ram box, di different technologies, the Eco Diesel. Mm -hmm. I is that something that you feel you have to compete with or are you gonna be a little more we focused? We have to be more point? strategic. Uh -huh. and, and we have looked at how we wanna lay out with the landscape that's already out in front of us. And we think we found a pretty good spot that we wanna fit in with our next generation truck. We've talked before in the past, we've already announced our, our Cummins partnership with the next generation diesel and we find that that engine with our truck and our durability and reliability history that we have is going to be a perfect match to slide right into the segment into our own little spot to play in. Well when you guys came out with the Nissan Titan that shook the world pretty much for the half all the half ton engineers in Detroit specifically but when you made the announcement about the relationship that you have with Cummins and there's going to be a V8 Cummins in the next generation Titan I, I think that's still going to force a lot of people to go back to their drawing board and figure out what's going to happen next. Any any predictions on what you think might happen once that Cummins and Nissan name gets put together? Well, there will be some things that'll have there'll be some changes happening possibly in the segment. But again, we have more up our sleeves. The powertrain is one part of it. Um, we also have some other innovations that we do with all of our vehicles. And, w and you mentioned when this Titan did come out, there was a lot of innovations. The spray and bed liner, the channel system, the bedside storage system, the power outlets inside the bed and the damp tailgate. All of these things were innovations we brought to the half-ton truck segment. As we move in with the next generation, we're looking at where can we refine, where can we add more innovations to help the customer. We don't just put bells and whistles on the trucks just to put them on there to say, oh, we have this or we have that. It all goes back to what does the customer need and want. And once we find out that unmet need or that something that they want that sets them apart from the other trucks, that's what we want to put on our, on our next gen truck. Now we've been told that at the next North American International Auto Show, you guys are going to have something for us to look at. That's where we're going to get our first chance to look at whether it's a concept or a concept that's very close to the actual truck, we don't know. But how, how long after that are we going to be able to see our, our dealers clamoring to get something right away or do you think you have a little bit dealers of Dealers are always clamoring for something new and, and, we, and we are listening to them and we're going to get something as soon as we can. But quality is the number one thing for us and we have to launch this truck right. Um, we did announce, I know Andy Palmer has mentioned that we will be announcing something special at, at the uh, North American Auto Show in Detroit. Um, so there will be some, some big news, some big happening there. Um, but when it comes to launching the truck, we're going to launch it when it's right. And we have our time frame and all the engineers are set up to hit that. Is there anything about the segment that's catching your eye? Is there, is there some issues or technologies that you think uh, your segment is going to have to worry about or anything that's being dealt with appropriately that, that stands out in your mind? You know, the, the, the surprising thing about the segment, and, and I've been looking at this segment for 20 years with Nissan, it's just that now it seems like the segments seem to go in kind of one direction, but now each of the manufacturers is kind of taking their own path, where before they were all kind of leading down a similar path. So there's a lot to look at now. We have different powertrains that are coming out. We have different chassis that are coming out. We have different interior and IT uh, information technology systems that are coming out, connected services. So a lot of the stuff that's coming into the truck world that was kind of in other segments before, now we have all these manufacturers going out there. And it, 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 it makes it a point for the planners, we have to figure out, umbrella all that, and see which of these items are the most important for the customer and how we're going to bring them in. 
So as a, as, as a steward of the, of the segment, it, it gets kind of tough seeing and trying to predict where everybody else is going to go, but then keep focused on our travel, how we're going to do it. That's excellent. It's going to be a, a lot of fun from our side of the fence to uh, watch what you're going to do and how that's going to shake up the entire half-ton segment. We look forward to it. Thanks for your time, Thank Rich. you, Mark. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. So that's it for our conversation with Nissan truck guy, Rich Miller. For more information about the next generation Nissan Titan or any other pickup truck related issue, go to pickuptrucks.com.